Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 37 Exporting to DST and other file formats. As most of you know by now, that Brother PE Design saves in what's called a PES format. Uh, one thing that I'm not crazy about when you save as uh, in PE Design Next, it only allows you to save in the version 9 PES format. Uh, version 8 allowed you to save in all the earlier versions, version 7, 6, and 5. What was nice about that is if you were digitizing for somebody else in a PES format, you could uh, save it in their version 5, allowing their software to read your design. However, if you save it in a version 9, uh, earlier versions of Brother PE Design will not be able to read your file. Your machine will be able to read it, and your machines will be able to sew it out, all the machines that read PES format. Uh, just the software won't be able to read it. Sometimes you'll need to digitize for people who have commercial machines or other brands that use different file formats. In that instance, you do not save as. You go down to the very bottom and you export this file. And underneath that, you have a, ho a whole variety of formats that you can save in. Uh, Tajima and EXP are the most popular uh, commercial embroidery file formats. Uh, the problem with these two is that they do not read the colors correctly. They have a sequence of colors and they read the order, but uh, you have to write down the color uh, in relation to the order it's being sewed out uh, to have the colors come out correctly. All the rest, they fit most of your major machines, uh, your Singers, a Husfera, a Viking, Melkos, Tajimas. Uh, you can save this as, uh, I'm going to save mine as a DST, save. And then I'm going to show you what happens when I go to New. And then I'm going to import a pattern. I'm going to import it from a file. And I'm going to save that naughty quest. Uh, I mean, I'm going to import that naughty quest that I had just saved. And you see how uh, what I mean about the DST? It's going to show it, uh, in, in, uh, as I explained in lessons uh, eight, nine, and ten, how DSTs are different and commercial file formats are different. I hope that helps.